Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for subscribing. As always, we have another video about one of these devices, but this one's from Honor. Now, this is the Honor 8X Max, which received an update and a lot of people were commenting down below in the channel asking me um, that they noticed that they also weren't able to use the Google services. So it was this update which actually, um, you know, started the confusion. So basically what happened is that China has, um, you know, they basically have a law in place which bans anything from being used on the Play Store. And basically what happened is with the um, latest update, it blocked all the Google services from being loaded. So in this video, I'm going to come up with a lot of different apps that you could use to still make this thing a powerhouse of a um, phone as well just like um, I, I use mine every day so right here is the apps application that is gonna basically replace the Google Play Store so this thing is called OSM a and D so you can see right here you can customize your commutes transport and you know like wherever you're going from the subway or the highway or you know anything like that even customize the maps that you see such as the you know highway routes as well as the subways and um you know like everything like that so it's almost just as customizable as google maps maybe even more you also do get the dark mode as well and i just found that it was able to do everything that I usually normally do when it comes to using the Google Maps app. So, you know, I was able to use this one. So I want to do a video where I'm actually using these in real real life and uh, seeing if they this one, if it's just as good as the Google Maps, because right here it works perfectly fine. So, you know, this is what I would need to see in the morning. You know like when my train is coming or you know like when the bus is coming or something like that but uh you know i take public transportation in nyc you know what i mean because like you know you really don't need to drive unless you you know what i mean like really need to do so or just want to do so but um you can see right here we do have the a theme on here which looks like the apple device so it's not an apple phone I just customized all the um, the apps to look like that. And uh, right here, you can see that we do have um, the, you know, you know what I mean? The themes inside of it. So right here, you can see all the themes that we're getting. And I have one of the dark mode themes on here, which is definitely pretty cool. So, you know what I mean? Like um, you're gonna be able to customize your device as well with, with the themes manager app. So, you can just install that from Huawei, um, you know, the Huawei app or the, you know, but you can see all my um, tabs, like my messages, my phone calls, and the notification bar as well are all dark. Now, this is the Huawei browser, but I don't use that one. I downloaded the Samsung browser instead. So, instead of using the Chrome browser, I have the the Samsung browser right here, which works really good. And you can see it also does have the dark theme as well, which I think is pretty cool. I don't even think Chrome has the dark theme. So, you know, it's definitely a good thing. And it's a little bit more secure as well. You won't get all those ads popping up. Um, so, Facebook works perfectly fine as well after the update. And um, you can see how beautiful this screen looks. Look how gorgeous that picture is, is looking. A lot of these pages I follow um, are either Huawei Blackberry or, you know, like something like that. But let's open up Instagram and, oh damn. You can see right here, um, you know, Instagram works perfectly fine. So no need to replace that. It just, it, it's gonna be able to, Pardon the background noise. Wow, there's like somebody going ham with their with their um their their horn or whatever. But Instagram works perfectly fine. And then you can see right here, I do have um, the Huawei App Store as well, so that that works fine. So you can download some of the apps in there. But 
we're going to look at this app right here called APK Pure, which is a, a market. It's an app market with a ton of apps, games, and essentially all the product productivity tools that you essentially would need to replace the ones from Google. So a lot of the applications that I need, I just downloaded this. Uh, it's called APK Pure Market. And then you could just Google that and it'll pop up and then it basically gives you the, you know, the market. You can have, you can download Facebook, everything like that on here as well. So all my Google accounts in the net, in the internet, I, I sync up to, you know, like Google and they all work perfectly fine from the Samsung browser when I'm, whenever I'm in, uh, logging in to anything. So as a YouTuber, I need to log into studio. So I use the Samsung browser and I go into the, the desktop mode and basically use the studio, um, from there, from the browser. But you can see this thing uploads in 4k ultra hd which is one of the reasons why i keep it around it's just not a lot of phones can do that and um you can i still upload all my vids from this thing as well you can see we, we have the gallery right here so when you click on a photo you can control the net notification bar with your finger as well as control the um, pictures as well and like you can map it to hang up calls i think and like take pictures and stuff like that now this right here is the um, the YouTube um, pink. Well, it's like called Vance. It's a replacement to YouTube. Once you aren't able to use the, the actual YouTube app, you can just install this one to replace it. And the thing that's really cool about this one is it blocks ads. You could also lock the screen and it still plays as well. And it also does, um, it has a hideous pink but I, I just thought that was pretty funny to look at, so I just kept it. But there's other ones you can download that are black and white, or black and blue, or um, just uh, the standard one they have as well. But I just thought this one was kind of funny, like, so I kept it. But you can see the vids work perfectly fine. Right here, it's all the way up to 720 and it's streaming from the network right now. I'm not even connected to Wi-Fi right now and it's streaming 720 from my Cricut SIM. Right now I do have first so you can see this thing has no problem basically um, with with YouTube with YouTube or streaming or even gaming or, or streaming on the network because it has 4G. Uh, so the speeds are really good. And you can see I could upload my vid still with this application, which is like essential. That was the most scariest part when I, when I saw that the Google Play Store was removed and stuff like that it was would I be able to upload from this thing, but I still can. So that's definitely pretty cool. Let's put the Samsung browser down here because that Huawei one is useless. It's all in Chinese. That's why. But um, then we do also have. Let me just take a look in here. Um, right. So you can see right here. I do have a ton of apps in here. A lot of APK files. Um, what are we going to open? I got PUBG in here. I also got Pandora that I use for music. Now this one has unlimited skips and the dark theme on there. So I got the one with the dark theme with unlimited skips. Um, so you could just download the APK straight from if you just type in, in, in the Google search bar, Pandora dark or Pandora, um, dark, um, APK. And then you'll get this. Um, but I also did download the APK with unlimited skips as well for Spotify. So I have, you know what I mean? Like basically um, the premium one or whatever. But you know what I mean? Like they just have that. So if it's available, I'm going to download that and not, you know, uh, have to worry. About anything. But anyway, the Spotify works great for my music as well as Pandora. I could even download um, SoundCloud if I so desired, but for my movies, I, I use TV Zion. So I could have probably downloaded Netflix on here or um, Amazon Prime. Well, no, not Amazon Prime, um, Amazon Video. I think I'm saying that wrong. Prime Video, but uh, this one has everything in it so like it doesn't make sense to download a ton of um you know a apks that do do the same thing so you can see right here this thing when you when you um search any movie you just hit the the 720 button right there and then it just loads up right here so you can see it's gonna play the video 
right away, which is definitely pretty sick. And um, you can see right here, everything just looks really nice. Um, the speakers are ridiculous on this thing. They just sound really crisp, really loud. You get dual speakers, one at the bottom, one at the top. So this is one of the best experiences I've ever had when it came to movies and gaming. Because you get those dual speakers with Dolby Atmos. The audio is amazing from both. So um, that's really cool. And um, I also have the Honor 9X Pro, which actually is running with the Google Play Store. So even though this one's not, the Pro is right now. They actually, when you, when you order that phone from the link that I have on my videos, it comes with the Play Store preloaded. So for some reason, the, the Honor one that's uh, from China, um, the Honor 8X Max, for some reason, you're, um, the in, the international one, the global one, you could you can get the Play Store on it, but this version right here that I got, that is the Chinese version. You you I don't you can't get the Play Store as of right now, I don't think, but um, I'm pretty sure they're gonna come up with a way. So in the meantime, I have these um, apps you could check out. This this is pretty cool because you can actually map out which apps will get a notch and which ones won't so I, th I definitely thought that was like a really cool feature that they implemented as well but you can see i got movies music social media shopping um what else do you really need i mean um you know this thing will still be able to run i got my email right here i um so i got gmail inside of it just on the email app that comes with it and then i got the yahoo app just from my super old yahoo account so I'm able to keep up with email, video, music, streaming, YouTube. Um, I got the VPN on here enabled for the, um, you know, all, any threats that come in. I have my um, unknown s uh, sources turned off at all times unless I'm downloading an APK. Um, so wait, sometimes that thing turns on automatically when you're downloading from the APK Pure Store. But uh, let me check real quick to see if it's on. Uh, just got to go to security and um, but right here you can see you, the themes manager is dope um, wait let me check that to see if they turn that off automatically yeah so it's turned off but it still says check apps from external sources so you got to have that turned on so it, it all automatically checks apps from like you know like the the internet automatically so the phone has that technology built into it automatically but you also want to put the vpn in there as well so you can um you know just block out any um you know like ads or um any spyware or anything like that but um what else do I want to talk about? Uh, the camera. The camera is probably one of the really still really great things about this device. The cameras are amazing. You get that aperture mode. So when you're using the camera, like you can adjust the aperture uh, before and after. So um, that's pretty cool. I also have Swift Keyboard on here. I think Swift Key Keyboard is probably one of the best ones as well. But um, check this out. When you load that, you can see that the quality is outstanding. The colors that it just produces are, are really good. And then you can adjust the vocal point of where you want the um, focus to be on. So that's definitely pretty cool. Uh, so this thing does come packed with a ton of different things. I also do have color notes on here for when I want to save notes. I have like notes saved on here from, from back in 2004. 13 dang 12 2012 i have notes saved on there so google um what well not google um color note is is what it's called it's just linked to my google on the internet so i'm still able to use that um so that's like my note app and then i got messenger light play store i also have pubg on here as well that works perfectly fine um but that's pretty much it you know what i mean so like let me just optimize the phone right here. You can see that you could check the health and stuff and then just always op optimize that as well. But, um, you know, it's at 93%, which is still really good. Fingerprint sensor still works just like on the first day. Super laser quick. 
they always had really good hardware on the sen the sensor of their fingerprint, which is like really accurate. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening. It's your boy Serrano. I appreciate you for watching. Later.